This week on TechNibble, we're going to take a look at the software Time Freeze by ToolWiz. ToolWiz Time Freeze is a simple and instant system restore software to keep a computer safe from undesired or unwanted changes. This is useful if you have ever had a client who keeps reinfecting themselves with a virus, even after you have told them what to be careful of and how to avoid viruses and malware. You can use this tool to create a clone of their system and, al and allow them to use it instead of their actual system. Ultimately, a safe, virtualized environment where any changes are not reflected on their actual system. ToolWiz Time Freeze has many great features that you can access to protect your clients from any mistakes they might make. Time Freeze includes a system protection module which can put your client's actual system under protection and create a virtual environment for system partition. This prevents viruses and other malware from doing any harm to your client's system. It's worth noting that ToolWiz Time Freeze starts up with the system and can automatically switch to the virtual environment if selected. To open the protection module, simply click the Start Time Freeze button. This will bring up a pop-up asking if you want to start Time Freeze. Once you see the red message letting you know that Time Freeze protection has been started, any actions that your client does in this virtualized environment, such as downloading viruses or visiting dangerous websites, will not be reflected in their actual system, which is being protected from harm. To stop time freeze, simply click the stop time freeze button. This will bring up another pop-up. At this point, your client has two options. Turn off the protection and save all the changes to their system. This means anything that they did, such as installing a virus, will be set back on their actual computing environment. Or turn off protection and drop all changes. This will revert the system back to a safe state and any actions your client performs, such as installing viruses in the virtualized environment, will not be reflected in their actual computing environment. However, this step does require a restart. In this case, we'll turn off protection and save all changes. Another feature in ToolWiz Time Freeze is the File Locker feature. The File Locker allows you to prohibit changing and viewing of files or accessing of protected folders by others. This means if you want to restrict access to certain folders by your clients so they cannot tamper with, with important settings in Windows or other folders and files on their computer, you can add them to the file locker and your client will not be able to access those files or folders. It's important to note that Windows system files should not be in the lock list. To activate the file locker feature, simply click the Start File Locker button. From here, you can either add a folder or a file. In this example, we'll add the temp folder. From this point onwards, we're no longer able to access any files within the temp folder on the hard drive. If you stop File Locker, those files and folders will then be accessible again. For now, we'll stop the File Locker. By going to the Program Settings option, you can enable or disable certain parts of ToolWiz Time Freeze such as showing the floating toolbar on the desktop, always showing the toolbar on the, mo on the most top, which will always have the toolbar positioned on top of every window that's open. Hide the ToolWiz Time Freeze tray icon, enable password protection, show warning when the cache will be used up, or enter time freeze mode when Windows starts up. This will automatically switch to the virtual environment when your client turns on their system. That's it for Time Freeze by ToolWiz. A few other things that are worth mentioning are that it supports Windows XP, Vista 7 and 8, both 32-bit and 64-bit versions. The software itself is only 3.3 megabytes and is completely free to download and use indefinitely. That's it for this video. More details and a download link will be in the video description below.